Hey guys, Chris from Reliance Controls, and uh, today I just wanted to talk a little bit about uh, the main three options that you have for connecting a backup power source to your home. We're gonna touch on transfer switches, transfer panels, and linkage kits, and let's get to it. All right, so first option we have here is, is a transfer switch. We call it a load side transfer switch just because of the way that it installs. I won't dig too much into that right now because we've got detailed installation videos out there that you guys can check out too. But I wanted to go over some of the key features of this product just in case you're weighing your options on what would be best for your application. So some of the key features are color-coded and clearly marked wires for the installation. We make it very easy for a weekend warrior or do-it-yourselfer to install the product. We recommend getting it inspected by a professional before you go ahead and operate it, but you can do it yourself. One of the nicest features about this product is once it's installed, you have individual circuit level control over the devices that are connect to it. So whatever appliances you have, you can turn on one, two, three, four, ten 10 circuits. Color-coded watt meters here so that you can gauge how much power you're drawing from your backup power system so you don't overload it. 30 amps at 240 volts will be the max circuit size that you can connect to this. And then the only other real limitation is uh, the largest model we make for this is 10 circuits. Um, but from an installation and operation perspective, this is one of the best products on the market. All right, so option number two that we have here for you is a transfer panel. And uh, transfer panels are great for a number of different reasons. So in this setup, what we have here is um, there's a utility supply circuit breaker here and a generator supply circuit breaker here. And this linkage in the middle that only allows you to have one of those two circuit breakers on at any given time, feeding the power to the rest of your circuits. So obviously you can see here, you can provide power to many more circuits than we offer in a transfer switch, uh, which has its pros and cons. Um, you have access to nearly anything that you want to run in your house. However, you have to be a lot more careful about potentially overloading the generator. Um, because you have access to all these circuits, in a lot of cases, the backup power source just doesn't have enough capacity to provide power to everything in this panel. So you kind of got to pick and choose what you want to run at any given time. There's also no limitation on the size of the circuit breakers that you can put in here. So any, you know, one inch interchangeable UL listed circuit breakers can go in here all the way from, you know, anywhere from 15 all the way up to even 100 amps in some cases. So um, definitely provides a little bit more flexibility, but the installation of a product like this is much more in depth and can be quite costly compared to a transfer switch. So, um, you know, it's, it's one of the pluses and minuses of each of these products is that the more stuff you want to run, the more complex that installation gets. All right, so option number three would be a linkage kit. And uh, in the linkage kit's case, it's gonna resemble this linkage that we have here in one of our panels very closely. The difference is, is it's a retrofit, just comes packaged by itself in its parts, then is retro installed on an existing panel in your home. So in that instance, you would supply generator circuit breaker, and then that linkage will be installed over the utility and generator circuit breakers and you know lock them out very similar to this panel. The biggest drawback of a lot of the linkage kits that I've seen on the market is that they attach to this cover of the panel. And the problem with that is you can remove this cover and still have utility power and generator power supplying the circuit breakers, and then you could potentially have both of them on at the same time, causing a very dangerous situation. And we never wanna see that happen. So if you're looking at linkage kits, please just make sure that it's not removable with uh, this cover. And then also, you wanna make sure that it's UL listed for the panel that you're installing it on. Uh, those requirements can be very specific, so do a lot of homework if that's the route you decide to go. My best recommendation, option one, option two, um, I'd be a little more skeptical of option three, but regardless, whatever you guys choose, just stay safe. <laughs>